hi guys just in case you're the type of person who likes certain parts of the video or you would like to skip ahead or whatever the case may be i do have some timestamps for you right there on the screen feel free to utilize them so let's get right into the video i will be showing you guys and explaining about how i styled this wet and wavy wig okay isn't it super super beautiful so let's get right into it that is the company here's the things that i received in the box i did get a little gift i'm not sure if everyone's going to get a gift in their package but i did get a little brush okay i got a comb i got a wig cap i got an adjustable strap and also the wig does come packaged like this it does come with a net around it as you guys can see and stuffing this is the inside of the wig it does have quite a few combs a lot of combs actually and it does have that adjustable uh, strap on the on the wig cap okay so i'm going in with my black opal foundation i did put that on the lace i did not bleach these notch or anything like that i just want you guys to see what the wig looks like on my head it looks very very natural as you guys can see it has that yakky texture to it and that is what the hairline looks like straight out of the box all right so the hairline is plugged very nicely and this is the parting space all right so you do get a lot of parting space this wig is super super versatile and you do get uh you can part it anywhere you can style it however you want you can wear it up you can wear it down however you like as you can see that part is super super deep you guys know i love deep parts um the one inch parts just don't look very good and they don't look really natural all right so we're gonna get straight into uh plucking all right so this is optional you guys know that i like to pluck just because even though the wig does already come a little pre-plucked for you it kind of gives you like a rubric a little hairline i like to go in and pluck towards my you know more towards my hairline i like to put the wig on and pluck starting from the front and then i like to part in the wig a little bit and pluck throughout the wig not very much just a little bit that's why i like to do it with the wig on so i can actually see what i'm doing all right so now i'm just cutting the lace off i like to cut i like to leave a lot of actual lace on my wigs because i like for my wigs to sit above my hairline and not on my hairline all right so we're not going in with any type of uh, glue i'm just going in with gel this is water soluble so at the end of the day i do take these wigs off okay you do not have to apply this wig with glue or gel you can uh, attach the elastic band they did come in the box and wear the wig glueless the wig does come with a lot of combs and an adjustable cap so you don't have to worry about you know putting anything any adhesive on your hairline this is a um I can't think of what it's called slick I, don't, I can't even think of what it's called but it will be down in the description box okay all the products that i'm using will be in the description box i just use this to give me that pressed out look that's what i love about it and as you guys can see i don't know why i'm making that face <laughs> but as you guys can see what the hair looks like right now it looks really good and really sleek so i'm just gonna go in and lay some really really natural baby hairs i'm not doing anything too crazy i'm not laying overly excessive baby hairs i am going in with a little bit of mousse on the baby hairs and also some mousse on the top just to lay everything down and now some leave-in leave-in conditioner i will have that down below as well i want you guys to see the up close look of everything when i'm pretty much finished with the product and that's what the wig looks like and you could opt to wear it in this style if you want to that's a very pretty style now here's where the magic happens so i'm just spraying water um on my hair there's no conditioner in that bottle there's nothing else in that bottle i did not put any other moves or product in the curls to make them pop their way that's just the way they look all right stay tuned for my in-depth talk through review hi guys welcome back to my channel so you guys have already seen me style this wig all right so i didn't have to do a lot of styling a lot of the things a lot of the things that i did do were kind of like just elective just some things that i always do and that i wanted to do the wig was plucked perfectly so i didn't really have to alter the hairline if i didn't want to but you guys know 
um almost on every almost on every wig i go in and i pluck anyways at least just a little bit i like to pluck on my head so that i could kind of get the hairline more to my liking even though the wig is already plucked okay there's nothing like your natural hairline i did lay very 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 minimal baby hairs i wanted to keep this style as natural as possible okay so let's get into this these two different sides because of course this ain't a normal way to wear your hair but let's get into it so this is what this side looks like and this is what this side looks like so the wig came in this straight yakky type texture which I wouldn't see a problem wearing your hair like this. Maybe run a flat iron through it and just going out the door. And this actually resembles my natural hair texture right on point. It resembles a blowout, okay? And this side right here is what the hair looks like just after water. I didn't put anything else in the hair. Where's my spray bottle? The only thing I had in my spray bottle is water. Normally, I will put conditioner in there, but I didn't even have any conditioner. And this is what this side looks like. So it is fully fully dry okay i even let it air dry a little bit these curls are so freaking pretty what well, these waves are so freaking freaking pretty and they're so juicy like i said i didn't put anything in it no mousse no serums or anything and it just looks really really good like oh um G. So, guys, this is the perfect summertime hair, beach hair, but especially vacation hair okay definitely vacation hair let's say you go to the beach or you go to the pool or you go on vacation baby you can have several 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 different styles it's like having two wigs in one like i mean hey if this ain't enough proof i don't know what it is but it's definitely like having two wigs in one you can like leave a house like this get to the beach get in the water baby you know kind of dip your head in the water a little bit and then your hair come up with your hair like this it, it just looks good it looks super natural look at that part so i did not pluck the part at all i didn't widen it up or anything because i like the way it looks sometimes i like a more narrow part this is the parting space and i can even take the parting back a little bit more that is such a deep look at that that is such a deep part you guys know i love deep parts because um they look more natural to me i feel like just a little one to two inch part that looks absolutely ridiculous okay but this looks good now i did not bleach the knots you guys know normally i do bleach the knots on my wigs but i didn't bleach these knots all i did was add a little bit of makeup to my lace which made everything blend seamlessly and i absolutely love it in the future i may go in and bleach the knots then again i may not because the lace like it just i don't know it blends so nicely with my hairline with with my skin and my hairline i don't even think i'll even go through the hassle of even bleaching the knots but this whole wet and wavy idea and the way that it looks i really really like it i love the way it waved up like it waved up so natural like it's nothing too tight it's nothing that's looking crazy i mean i don't really want to ramble on and on about it because you see I mean, this is, you see, you see what you're working with, you see what it is. And if I wanted to have my other side with the yucky texture, all I would have to do is flat iron this side and then it'll be the same and then I can wait it back up. I just feel like you can have a lot of fun with this unit. It's very, very versatile and you could just, I mean, it's for every occasion. I'm saying summer because, or like beach hair or something or pool hair. And I'm just saying that because I know that a lot of people like to wear this type of hair around those type of times but this hair could be for in winter and all kind of stuff like that any type of occasion i feel like this is for you if you're looking for back to school hair vacation hair re retirement hair girl i don't know whatever kind of hair or whatever kind of wig you are looking for look no further because i feel like this is the one for you i really do feel like this is the one for you okay so please look down below for all of the specs actually i think i missed something let me make sure i added everything i have it on this piece of paper um okay so this before i go the wig length is 16 inches the density is 180 density this hair is very very full okay and i love that it's full but it's not like full to where it looks so fakey and no, real. it's full and it also looks really natural okay if that makes any sense 
um so it is a yakky straight when it's dry and of course it is wet and wavy whenever you wet it so i'm just i'm just so in love with it it kind of reminds me of back in the day when i used to get pack hair and it would be wet and wavy and i would like wet it up and i would get it like this put it in my head to like a quick weave and wet it up and i used to just freaking fall in love with it but anywho guys let me know what you guys think about this wig have you or and this company have you ever tried this company before will you be trying this company what do you think about this wet and wavy wig um would you consider purchasing it just let me know all of that information down below also the specs will be down below um i think that's pretty much it yeah i think that's pretty much it <laughs> i'll see y'all next one bye